Video two of the day, church. Um, I had to get off that uh, number six over there. Uh, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, talk while I was on on the um, while I was on the uh, on the bus. There are people right there in front of me. But anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, I think I was saying that um, this is a crooked city. There is no church here. There is no Holy Spirit in any of these. Um, so-called church communities it's 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 got to be one of the it's very subtle you know um, they're just what the Lord said is they're a bunch of charters I, I guess clan charters uh, clan 250 uh, clan men clan groups there is no there is no God and no Holy Spirit in these people they, they know the book you know obviously they're knowledgeable but um, these pastors are killers these pastors are homosexuals um, I've had my my twist of fate with 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 the homosexuality. I, I I did not know I was gonna be walking in the shoes of Sodom and Gomorrah and experience and having a taste of their experience daily life. Um, and of course, that only happens when Social Security disability income kicks in and when um, DBT kicks in uh, during the course of the month. But as far as my lifestyle no it's still is christian but i'm i'm being and I'm, I'm i'm being raped and um and i'm being abused you know um they're taking my work and i don't know what they're doing with it they're going they're taking you know whatever flash drive i have that has videos and sermons a 256 gigabyte flash drive has a lot of information on it um they've plagiarized the work um and I, I don't know why they want to sound Christian. I mean, you know, they, they want to sound Christians and they want to wear suit jackets, but they don't want to live the life. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to live as Christians. They just want to appear. Um, it, it, it's like this appearance thing of being equal. I'm not sure if, if on one side it's an appearance thing and on the other side it's you know, I, I have to be in charge of you because you're a Negro um, and you can't have more work than me. So they go into the police department and MacArthur goes into the storage and whatever posters I have used, they take the posters, whatever uh, videos that goes with the posters, they erase the videos off of the YouTube, they remove the videos off of the flash drive, whatever, uh, sermon series I have they either take the whole series or they take parts of it or they block the series from being able to pull up um, I, I guess they're going through YouTube and asking YouTube to remove um, uh, some of the videos I'm not I'm not sure okay um, but the, the very people that should be helping and assisting me are the very people that are blocking me you know, they, they formed a block, right? They, they formed a block where you can't, you can't go to the right, you can't go to the left, you can't move forward. Um, and if that's the case with me by myself, that's gonna be the case with me in a church as a pastor. They're not gonna let the church flourish. They're not gonna let the Spirit of God work in the heart of the, of the people. They're gonna take control over the income. They're gonna steal money from, and that's probably what they're doing now, stealing money from the offering plate. Uh, they're gonna control uh, the people's money, the people's wallets. They are an evil group of Satanists, white males, black males, Spanish male, Asian males, controlling families, controlling people's income, controlling people's thoughts, controlling who people submit to. They're not submitting to the Lordship of Christ. They're not submitting to uh, to the Lordship of God. I believe that these people are under some sort of uh, evil, demonic spirit. And I'm, I'm looking into the future and I'm going, this should not have taken 24 years. In 24 years, I haven't moved two steps. See, I, I just took one step. I haven't moved two steps. I'm still, you know, being brought back and, and back and further back into what we used to be as slaves. Every time I start something new, they, they steal it. 
okay? Um, if I draw a line in my Bible uh, to indicate timeline, they steal the Bible. If I start writing notes uh, in the Bible, um, they steal the notes. If, uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. Take this, take this Bible right here, right? This is a New American Standard Bible. Um, when I start, anytime I start uh, gaining knowledge of extra biblical, that's what they call it, extra biblical knowledge, rather than just, you know, the surface, what's, what's here in the pages. When I go through the trouble of, um, you know, marking the Bible uh, like this, okay? When I mark the Bible like this, it's not much, okay? When, you, when I mark the Bible like this, okay and you see there are there's information here and there's information here when i when i draw the timeline right uh i want to show you something when i draw the timeline what, what, what's that right there what's that right there okay what's that right there you know what that is that is a haitian woman to you it's a white american man to me that's a haitian woman the, the tan is a Haitian woman, the gray is the homosexual community. Okay, that's what they're using to entice. Okay, I'm talking about the Word of God and I'm showing you, that's the exchange. MacArthur will um, show me a fag and the people that are enticed by this are the Haitian women in the back. Okay, it's not me, it's the women in the back, Melinda, um, uh, my mother, um, they're enticed by what you just saw there. That that's what they want. I'm the other. I'm the I'm the I'm the Haitian guy who wants the girl. They're the Haitian women in the back who wants the boys. Okay, and I don't know how it works. I don't know the system, but I feel it when they project. And then if I make contact, then they come. They'll remove the whole Bible. They'll remove the flash drive that has the sermon series. Um, information like for example uh yeah, last night i'll give you a, a taste of this last night i wrote um what end time events are due to come and who will be there uh when do these um events take place i, I have a hard time reading when it's when i don't have my bible here and i wrote and, and, and um and, and, you know, just off the top of my head, I wrote, uh, to answer the question, uh, the man of lawlessness in the temple, the abomination of desolation, the rapture, Armageddon, fourfold hallelujah, seven trumpets, um, and seven bowls of judgment, and so on and so forth, right? So I wrote an entire list here of, you know, what is to come. So, and, and the timeline was past, present, and future. When they, when they come into my Bibles and they see it marked, here they take the bible away why i don't know i don't understand why these people keep taking away my notes every time i go through the process of putting notes in my bibles putting notes in my flash uh, in my uh, um record book they take they take the record book oh here's something you i went to the copier a couple of days ago and um i went to the copier a couple of days ago and when i got when I when I returned to the um, to the computer where where my where my black backpack my actually not my black backpack but my bag was they apparently went into they went into this record book here and they took out a piece of this is this is this is their way right here. You see this little piece right there? That's their way of basically saying, you know, they're removing a piece of the work. You know, little, little, little by little, um, right now, as I'm talking to you, there is a white male who has a yarmulke on his head, and he calls himself a Hebrew of some sort. Um, I'm not sure why he's being very loud and disturbing. But in any case, um, this, is what they're, this is what they're doing, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I have to, if these people were the church, um, Secretary of State, um, you know, I'm registered with the Secretary of State, but I'm not accomplishing anything. IRS keeps, IRS keeps, um, IRS keeps sending me these letters. I'm not sure why, okay, 
they, they keep sending them over and over again and um, I have a feeling and you know they're not wanting to send me the stimulus check I'm all over the place as you can see I'm being distracted so it's kind of hard to stay focused when you've got queer men running this way Jews going this way and you know being loud it's, it's kind of hard to stay focused on one thing um, he's talking at me I don't know who the man is anyway um, this is a bad report and it's hard to focus on what I'm saying because I'm listening to this guy and he's projecting he's projecting my he's projecting this way and it's hard to concentrate so I'm gonna turn this off and um, go to 24 hours and then move I have an appointment with with the doc with um, with uh, OHSU at 135 today to um, to uh, get a booster shot um, and uh, this is the third time I'm taking a, a shot and uh, Hopefully this booster shot will help me to stay a little bit more healthy. But in any case, I, I apologize. I mean, I'm all over the place here. I've lost my train of thought. I, I didn't know that was going to happen with the guy, go, the fag going that way and the Jews going this way. Um, I guess the, the reason why I came back on uh, the screen is to give you a warning. If you are the church of God, um, walk with God. If you are the church of God, walk with God. Don't walk with the Europeans and hold their hands. Walk with God, okay? If you are the church of God, walk with God. If you are the church of Christ, walk with Christ. So in summary and conclusion of, of what you've heard for the last 20 minutes, both the first video and the second video, regardless of how much money and how much sex you get from these people, watch your back with these European Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans, Spanish Americans. You walk into those places where these people are claiming Christianity, watch your back because there is another community there. There's another system there. They won't give it to you right away, but they'll give it to you. They won't give it to you right away, but they'll give it to you, um, you know, after they, they know you for a few years. They'll, you know, they'll give it to you after they have all your information. Um, you know, they know your bank account. They know your money. You know, those who want to have sex with you, they'll never come to your face and say, we want to have sex with you. Those who want your money will never come and say, we want your money. Those who want your, your leadership, your influence, your authority, what you have to offer, they won't give it to you to your face. So I, I caution you to keep walking with God. You know, um, that's why the ministry is called Walk With God Ministries. Okay, so the New Testament Church of Portland, Walk With God Ministries, Walk With God Ministries International, Walk With God Ministries Outreach, uh, Walk With God Ministries Press Publishing, Distribution, and none of it has flourished. All of it has just, it, it's, it, it's just a bunch of information. Same thing with the, the storage. I don't have enough time to, to straighten out the storage. They will not allow me to straighten out my life. They will not allow me to uh, uh, to establish myself in any state and to to root myself they keep uprooting me uh, and removing me in other words as a Haitian you're not allowed to have anything in this globe so then why is God inviting us into this planet if we're not allowed to have a ministry that glorifies him the Bible says everything you do you do to the glory of God how are we going to glorify God if these people keep stealing you know they keep coming in killing us destroying our, 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 our families, destroying our work, stealing our work, and then now they want to present themselves as the rightful people that are going to make that correction. You know, we're going to correct all of that you were saying, and it was me and this staff of white supremacists and oppressors and these Europeans, now that we're here, now our skin is here, well, we're going to correct what these dark brown, yellow, nigger, nappy-haired people are doing that is wrong. The same amount of time that God took to create these whitewashed tombs and these whitewashed men is the same amount of time that he has taken to put this nappy hair on my head and this dark, this flat nose and this dark skin on my face. So the same amount of time that God has taken to make their their Revlon hair and their bluish eyes is the same amount of time that God has taken to put my brown eyes in my head and, and the brain that's in my head and the tongue that's in my mouth and the beard that's around. He gives me the beard every time I, you know, every time I cut it, right? Every time I cut it, he, he brings it back. 
Every time I cut the hair, he brings it back. I'm like, are you sure about this? Because, you know, that's not Revlon, and they don't like nothing but Revlon. So, you know, I, I say this, um, I say this to, to kind of give you a, a, a reminder and a warning and a caution. And because if, you, if you're not um, prepared, they're going to mislead you if you're going into the ministry and you don't know that they're the enemy and you think that they're the lead. Okay, you don't know, and, and Satan is behind every single one of them. The devil's behind, I mean, I've done things that the pagans themselves wouldn't probably do. The grossest and most disgusting things that I've done, okay? And everything you've seen them do in their videos, I'm probably beyond all of that, okay? Uh, and it, the only thing that they haven't done yet is given me permission to kill, okay? So I'm taking this time talking to you so you understand that it gets worse and worse and worse. It has gotten worse and it is getting worse because they want control and they want, you know, it, 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 it's, it's like if I, we don't control you, African, you're going to take over our world. And it's like, read Psalms 49. Where does it say that the European is to take control? Read Psalm 50. Where does it say that the European is going to take control? Read Psalms 104. Read all the Psalms. Read the scriptures from cover to cover. Where does it ever say that the European is so? This is the world that God has made. This is his world. This is what he's done. And if you're not careful, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit by the wrong group with, uh, with the wrong spirit. You know, ask the Lord for his Holy Spirit. You don't want the clan spirit. You don't want the queer spirit. You don't want the spirit of the oppressor who, who is filled with, who's filled his mind with pride, um, egotistic uh, mentality, and uh, who, who, whose life is a lie. You don't want that one. You know, no matter what, even if they can give you, uh, you know, baby blue eyed children, the children will, will rise up to uh, um, basically mislead you and misguide you into a hellish uh, future that you don't want. Okay, so you know, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Pray to Christ and He will listen to you. Uh, anyway, I gotta get going here and um, I gotta go uh, to, I gotta get cleaned up and then go up to OHSU to get my shot. And I'm gonna try to get as much work done as possible. But I, I am so sorry, church, that I couldn't bring you together. I am so sorry that I couldn't um, disciple anybody you know make disciples like the Lord commanded us I these people have basically twisted my life into what it is and you know and they're they're calling me a liar and um, an offender and all of that but it's their it's their satanic mentality that's doing it you know their satanic mentality of the fact that they're white-skinned people now they got three Asians over here talking at me okay they got three Asians over here talking at me, right over there. And so, you know, it's, it, it's enemies from all over the place, okay? So, anyway, I don't know who they are, and I don't care. But, you know, that's just, now I've just been warned. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off before I get some kung fu on me here and get my butt whooped. And uh, who knows what else the devil has in store for me today. But anyway, you keep me in your prayer, and I'll keep you in mine. Father, I pray at this hour that you will be with me and other Christians who are still willing and wanting um, to uh, live for you. Uh, like the scripture says in Romans, I think if we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. Whether then we live or we die, we are the Lord. Um, so whether in this generation or in past generation, God, I pray that you would watch over your New Testament church and not allow the devil to have any part in it. And if he's mislead many of us, um, may you return it to those whom he has used to uh, mislead and misguide and cause us to stumble. If there are Christians living in a hellish situation, may you deliver them. Or may you give them strength to deal with that hellish situation that they are enduring. Even if it mars their testimony and their name, give them strength to stand in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyway, I will talk to you later.